God has declared, even the earth itself moans and groans for God's people to take its place. Now with that church, the basic word of God, transform by the truth and into the word of God. And Matthew 4, 4, why do we need the word of God? Because God's word said, Jesus said, people need more than bread for their life. They must feed on every word of God. God wants us to feed upon the matter of the gospel. I will not turn to the right. I will not turn to the left. I'm telling you, we're going to hit this with a passion, with a might, with a muscle, with a power. And I'm telling you, this is a new hammer. Come on now. Hammer. You know, back in the day, hammer. You can't touch this hammer. I'm telling you, this is a new hammer. This is the word of God hammering consistently on the rock where then that rock has to break. That rock is molded. That rock is transformed. Because I'm telling you, what God has put in us, He is molding us. He is transforming us. He is creating us. Because God is the greatest rock of all. Jesus is the rock. The cornerstone that was rejected. I'm telling you. It's not time. This is not the time. This is to activate. Can I hear the church say activate? And Acts chapter 20, 32, this is out of the Message Bible, that now I am turning you over to God. I'm turning you over to God. I'm telling you, if I'm a cop, I'm a police, you know what? I'm turning you over to God. This is our marvelous God, that whose gracious word can make you into what He wants you to be. See, church, this is not my gospel. This is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is not the way that I want it, but the way that God wants it to be. So let it be that I will give you everything. I'm going to give you all this possessions that you could possibly need in this community of these holy friends, God's word, God's gracious word, God's marvelous word can make you to he wants you to be and give you everything that you could possibly need in this community of holy friends. See, God knows when to put you out and to bring you in. And especially those as prophets of God, sometimes we don't have an understanding of what God is doing when he has us out for a second, for a moment, or it may be for a lifetime. But there are times where he pulls the prophet in, where it's a one-on-one dialogue with God. Where he wants you to see. Where your eyes are being opened. Where your ears are being opened. Well, I thought they were already. Where they're being more. Why? Because as the church and as the people of God, we go from glory to glory. We go from strength to strength. I'm telling you, God has taken us from victory to victory. The sight that I had in 2020, hello, like the sight 2020, would be perfect. I still had to walk into the year of 2023. I still had a walk into the year of 2024. And now we are now still walking into, if God chooses, 
2025. And we have to continually to upgrade into new grounds and to new levels and to new establishments and to recognizing and understanding the knowledge of who we are in Christ, the access into the rooms, I'm telling you, where he has led us in and even where he will lead us to. Can I hear the church say amen? Listen to church. And I will give you everything that you could possibly need in this community of holy friends. See, God is not holding something back. God is releasing and giving you something. The counsel of the temple, the counsel of those around you, the counsel. Come on, church. Where we can become a unity and community and everything possible where God needs you to be and holy friends. Can I hear the church say amen? See, spiritual growth is the axis of replacing the lies with the truth. The spiritual growth, the spiritual blessing, the Spirit of God uses the Word of God to make us like the Son. Not that we are, but we are like the Son of God. To become like Jesus, that we must feel, feel like we're getting all the download, the end feeling of our lives with His Word. See, church, you may not feel that your life is important. But I'm telling you, God has so much in store for you. Sometimes we have just received the icing, the ice tip. Just the crema la crema without getting in all the ingredients. I'm talking about, yes, I love that cream. Yes, I love that sparkle. Yes, I love that caramel. Come on now. But I'm telling you, when you find out the essence, that doesn't make the coffee. That just makes it richer. But when you get the consistency of the grinds, when you get the consistency of, of the basic because I could have that, and but I'm just going to have sweetness. But when I actually get the core of it, that's where I'm going to be able to obtain and receive that which God is speaking and which God is saying. Amen. And I'm telling you, there is such a download in this, in what I'm speaking even here today. Amen. Thank you, church. We love you. Let's go ahead and continually upon the matter in which God is speaking to our lives. God wants us to be filled with the life of Christ. Filled with this download of what God has spoken. In John 17, 17, Jesus has prayed, sanctify my followers. I've always embraced and loved this word of God because he's talking about sanctifying us through this word of God through this word of truth that your word is truth God will sanctify us by this word of truth we're talking about we feel that we're dirty we feel that we need to be cleansed we feel like we need to be washed give you a high five there I'm telling you, when we get into the Word of God, we will see, oh, God is speaking to me. God is loving on me. God has said so much to me. And as we sit and as we wait and as we grab a hold of the Word, we're drenching 
And, you know, I don't know about you, but I love a good sweat. And I go and, come on now, we got to pull some teeth and, and do some workouts. And, you know, get in that sauna and just really burn. Burn it. And we're sweating and we're sweating. And I'm telling you, as you get into the presence of God, just like we did, if you want to go back, you can go back. Get into the presence through the worship, through the praise, and just allow even just the speaking of tongues, if you speak in tongues, getting into the Word of God and allowing the Lord just to speak to you. God can speak to your heart. He can speak to your mind. He can speak to your soul. He can speak to your life. Hey, God can speak through you. If it had to be through a crow, Come on now, it, because the crow spoke to the to uh, to Elijah the prophet. Come on now, did not um, the rooster that crowed three times didn't it not speak to one of the apostles? Did not even um, a donkey? Speak to a man of God. Balaam. I'm telling you, God can use anything. As a matter of fact, he said, listen to me, church. He said that if we don't praise him, he said, don't don't let the rocks out praise you. Can you imagine a rock? How can a rock? There's no nothing. There's no nothing but a rock. I'm not going to let a rock out praise me. For you not to be able to utilize and give God some praise, I'm telling you. But as we connect in John 17, 17, I'm telling you, you want to be sanctified. You want to be purified. You want to be anointed and appointed by God. You want to be set apart. It's in the Word. It's in the Word. How many times have people have said, you know what? This and that. And it's been far and few. Far and few. Oh, you need to be taught. You need to be this. You know what God says? I got you back. I got you back. I got you. Because I know that I, if I share something with you, if I've given you something, that's how much trust and obedience that I have in your life. That I can pour that on you. You base in the presence and you invoke what I have shared. Even to give unto nations. I'm telling you. God is a wonder. God is so wonderful. Amen. That is in the book of Isaiah. He is the wonderful. He is the counselor. Come on now. He is the mighty king. Come on now. I just said a word right there. Because you be thinking other stuff. But God has that word for you. You. 2 Timothy 3.17. We're almost there, church. Through the word we are put together, we're shaped up. Come on now. For the task that God has for us. We're shaped up. And I'm telling you, sometimes you can look in that mirror and you say, you know, I'm just... Be lauded, I'm everywhere, I'm not connected. You know, you feel like one dot's over here, one dot's over there that, you know, I want to connect these dots and put them together, you know. You feel like half of you's over there, half of you's over there, and just all these things. And the enemy tries to distort you, the enemy tries to distract you, the enemy tries to pull you apart to the left to the right, you know, and, and, and try to bring that confusion. We don't serve a God of confusion. God knows how to put us on the track, the straight way, the only way. Come on, church. The only, na- only way, because we're not talking about the wide way. I'm talking about the narrow way. Or Jesus says that he is the truth. He's the way. 
He's the life. 